In this video, I'm going to walk you through the first couple of days of recovery from balloon sinoplasty surgery. Today is day one. In fact, it's about three hours post-surgery that I'm making this video. I had the surgery this morning at 11, 11 a.m. and I was out of the doctor's office by 12.15. There was no needles involved. Uh, this doctor tells me that he developed a method where he uses a numbing agent that's inserted into the nose through gauze. Uh, he said that he learned this, well, he, he saw a dentist using a gel and he developed a liquid that would go into the gauze and then get inserted into the nose. So for about 40 minutes of the, the visit, that's all that we were doing. And the actual procedure was very quick. I would say 10, 15 minutes after I was numbed up, but I was very relieved to find out that there were no needles involved. In my head, I was imagining that they were going to be injecting all kinds of stuff into me. So uh, that didn't happen. But talk to your doctor and, and see what method they use. The next thing they did was put a sensor at the center of my head uh, and his assistant used a probe to sort of draw around my skull to make sure that they could see inside. She called it her navigation system and uh, I thought that was interesting. For the most part, there was no pain. Uh, some slight pressure. At one point, I did feel a pinch. Uh, it was a bit painful. The doctor told me that he had hit the bony part up here as the balloons were in there inserting uh, and blowing up the sinuses. The doctor was also able to reduce the turbinates in both nostrils even further. Uh, I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos, but a month ago uh, I had deviated septum surgery. This side was shaved off and this balloon sinoplasty doctor had recommended that first so that he could get his tools up in there and he said long-term outcome this is going to be the best possible route. So hopefully we're there because if you watch my other videos I was not I was not relieved after I had the deviated septum surgery. Okay, so the doctor said that he can do basically all of the same stuff uh, that any other ENT surgeon can do except for the deviated septum without putting you out into general anesthesia. So this, this numbing agent really did a good job uh, to the point that the roof of my mouth is still numb. Here we are almost four hours later when I got done with the procedure, my throat, I couldn't tell if it was filled with mucus or what. And I, I voiced my concern. He said, oh, your throat is just numb. Yeah, the throat was super numb. It was very weird. I couldn't feel myself swallowing. I, I don't know if I was swallowing or not, but like I was trying to swallow, nothing was happening. That kind of freaked me out. It's still not super easy. I wasn't able to speak very well at first. Um, yeah, and at this point, my throat is, is kind of sore. The roof of my mouth feels a little sore and, and numb still, but we shall see. So I walked out after an hour and an hour past that, so at about 1 p.m., I removed these gauze tampons that were placed inside my nose as I left the office. Uh, I was instructed to take those out once I got home in about an hour and then wash with saline and apply bacitracin into the insides of the nostrils and work that around. So that's what I did. Uh, luckily, I also had some peptides on hand that got delivered right on time today. I got TB500 and BPC157. Those are excellent healing agents. If you wanna know more about peptides, uh, drop me a comment. I, I can give you any info that you want. I've done lots of experimenting with peptides, but those are great for wound healing. So I'm glad that they arrived today and I was able to use them. The other thing that I did was I used an ice pack for 15 minutes. So the protocol is to do a saline rinse with the squeeze bottle every three to four hours and ice pack every three to four hours. And that's for the first 12 to 24 hours. So I'm going to try to keep that up. The other thing that I was given is a prescription for Tylenol-3. 
I was not able to fill that because the pharmacies are just a, a wreck and a mess and they didn't have the order. So like, here I am. I don't know that I'll go get it, but hopefully uh, they will call the order in and at least it'll be there if I do feel that the pain is, is too much for me. So far, it's so good though. We, we'll see how the rest of the evening goes. So that's the update uh, for day one. As comparison to deviated septum surgery, it, night and day. I mean, yes, there's some um, blood coming out of my nose, but it's not thick red blood as I had with the deviated septum. It's uh, mucusy, liquidy, light pink. Um, I just I've been changing this pretty frequently. From what I read, th the bleeding should pretty much be minimal after four hours. If it's not, there may be a problem. Uh, and they recommend using Afrin to alleviate the bleeding, uh, which I, I thought was interesting. You know, as somebody who's suffered from sinus issues for most of my life, I, I'm well aware of Afrin. I never knew that it could stop nosebleeds, but they said to try to use that minimally because obviously there's all kinds of irritation going on in the nostrils right now. So the, the less that goes up there, the better. But I've got the Afrin if the bleeding doesn't stop. Um, for now, I'm just changing the gauze as, as frequently as I need it. I'm taking it easy. Uh, I do have an appetite, that's a good sign. Um, but I'm waiting for the, the numbness to go away a little bit more before I eat something. And that's really it, just gonna relax today. And I will check in tomorrow uh, and let you know how I'm doing. Day two update. Well, I spoke too soon yesterday. As soon as I got done doing that video, I was feeling pretty tired uh, and I went to lay down. My head was hurting. As I was laying down, I felt the urge to sneeze. All the instructions say sneeze through your mouth. So I did that for the first sneeze. The second sneeze, I don't know how it happened, but it came out through my nose and the floodgates opened, uh, there was blood everywhere. It was a real mess. Uh, let's see, after that, the headache started, just tons of stuff coming out of my nose for the, the next several hours. And I eventually went and got the Tylenol-3 because my head was hurting pretty bad. As the anesthesia was wearing off, I was, I was really starting to feel that headache. So I'm pretty sure that the anesthesia was, was still taking effect and my, my head was fairly numb yesterday, which is what was giving me a, a false sense of security that there was no real pain to be had. And yeah, uh, so y yesterday evening things took a turn for sure, but it was not nearly as terrible as the deviated septum surgery. So this is my comparison that I, I keep on juxtaposing this procedure with at about 7 p.m. I ate dinner. Uh, that's after I take the Atonal 3 and dinner sat okay. It was a bowl of soup, which was nice and easy and, and warm. Well, that felt good because my throat was still hurting. And I went to bed around midnight. I took another Tylenol 3 uh, around 9.30 and slept okay. It wasn't the greatest night's sleep, but it was certainly not a bad night's sleep again, comparing it to the deviated septum surgery. Every night I sleep with mouth tape on my mouth because I've got trouble breathing through my nose. So this tells my body to breathe through the nose. Uh, it forces it to, and I made a whole video about that. You could check that out, it's on the channel. And what this does is prevents snoring and prevents dry mouth, and it's just a way more comfortable night's sleep. So the mouth tape I had to take off just because I was a bit too stuffy. I didn't want to use any Afrin. I haven't used any yet because things have not been that terrible. I'm sort of using that as a last resort. As somebody who's used Afrin a lot, I know you don't want to use it unless you absolutely have to. This morning was fairly normal. I, I felt way better today and did my normal morning routine. I had some caffeine this morning. I did a sinus rinse. I put all my supplements out, took those. I did bacitracin, which is what you're supposed to do after the sinus rinse. I did ice on my head. And the discharge today has been certainly less bloody. Uh, it's still there. It's, it's pinkish, it's bloody. 
and things were looking good until around noon when I had something to eat, just had some eggs. I eat eggs every day. It's, I have a very regular diet. In fact, the soup last night was different from, from what I normally eat. I'm, I'm pretty strictly carnivore. But had the eggs and cheese, and uh, shortly after, headaches started coming back and, and started feeling terrible in general. Um, eating the food, I guess, kicks up some sort of histamine, so that, that got the, the mucus running again, and eventually I took another Tylenol-3 at about 12.30. There's still a good amount of pain in the back of my throat. It's like the roof of, the, roof of my mouth where it meets the throat. And it's got to be from all the tools being in there because whenever I swallow, I can really feel it. I finished the last medication that I'm supposed to take, and, and I didn't touch on this yesterday, but leading up to the balloon sinoplasty procedure, I was given a three-day supply of azithromycin. So I took that up until Thursday. Yesterday was Friday and then a five-day supply of prednisone, and today was the last pill of prednisone I took. So prednisone is, is just a steroid that helps bring down inflammation throughout your body, and azithromycin is to help fight any sort of infection. And I guess the idea is that you take the azithromycin beforehand, so once those tools get into your, your skull, that nothing can make you sick. And that's the update for today. Uh, all in all, it's not terrible. Uh, again, I feel way better after the Tylenol-3, and that was roughly an hour and a half ago that I took that. I was able to shave and, and clean up and put this video together. But it's a rainy day here in New York. You may be hearing the raindrops on my air conditioner. So for the rest of the day, I'm, I'm just going to take it easy, probably take a nap, and that'll do it. Day three and it's roughly 48 hours after the procedure. What I'll report is that after the update yesterday, I started feeling a bit nauseous, and I attribute that to the Tylenol-3, the last dosage of prednisone, and the three pills of azithromycin leading up to the surgery. So what I did to alleviate that was just got a, a drink with a bunch of ginger and turmeric in it. It also had some CBD. I never tried this before, but I saw it in my health food store and, and that did the trick for me. Aura also says that I slept well last night, but I did wake up feeling queasy again. I also woke up with some congestion I think that's because I was able to keep the tape on all night, so the airflow was constantly through my nose. And I did two sinus rinses this morning. The first one gave me a little bit of yellowy discharge, nothing alarming. I, I've seen that before, so I don't think it's an infection. And on the second rinse, I was able to see a little bit of blood, but again, that's not abnormal either, uh, even without surgery. So that's good, but I'm still feeling congested and not really sure what to do about that. What I would like to do is get back to my normal sinus care routine, which is using azelastine and fluticasone. Uh, if you're not familiar with those names, it's Flonase. And you know, the first one is Astapro and the second is Flonase. And those are just cortical, uh, those are steroids that help alleviate the, the symptoms in the nose. The other thing that I love using is this Arm & Hammer, and this is the, the strongest one that they make. This is nighttime relief. It's got menthol in here. It's got some other stuff that really just helps loosen everything up. And when I do that massage, I can move anything that's stuck in my sinuses out of there. Well, anything within reason. So that's where we're at. Aside from that, just keeping up the other normal care that I've been given, which is bacitracin after the sinus rinses. I also took TB500 again this morning, which is the peptide that I used for wound healing. It's TB500 and BPC157. And I've done ice packs today again. So all in all, not terrible, but 
listen, I've been dealing with sinus pressure for so long. This feels like a normal sinus pressure day to me. Um, the headache is there, the sinus pressure is there, and I would just like to see if I can address it. They told me to put as little irritants into my nose as possible. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. And I will go see the doctor tomorrow. Not really sure what the first follow-up is gonna look like. Uh, he may wanna suction some stuff out of there. That might be good, but I'm gonna ask if it's okay to start using my typical sinus care routine. And it's 48 hours. I, I can't determine whether this has worked or not. It feels like things are a, a little better than they normally had been things seem to move a little bit easier but without doing my typical sinus care i just don't know so 48 hours the the jury is still out i'm hopeful that this is the procedure that is going to alleviate my symptoms and have long-term results for me the last thing i will report is that there's still some soreness in the upper back part of the throat so there's that still all in all, not terrible though. Uh, I'm gonna try to cut off the Tylenol 3 today. I may take one or two more because this is still 48 hours and you know I just wanna be comfortable rather than dealing with headache and sinus pressure. It's the weekend, so Monday I've gotta get back to work and I need a clear head. Day four update. After I made the update yesterday, I did a sinus rinse and I blew my nose a bit too hard and got some decent bleeding coming out. After that, I was able to massage my temple. I've, I've figured out a, a technique where I can lay down and tilt my head and really just work this area. And I'm able to move any blockage that's here out. Works about 90% of the time. So the hard nose blow and the blood was definitely worth it because it did give me relief from that pressure. The sinus still felt inflamed generally after that. Last night's sleep was okay. The aura ring tells me that all of my scores were good, so I'll take that as a win, even though I felt like I was waking up a lot and I didn't get a restful night's sleep. The, the ring seems to think I did well. When I woke up this morning, again, feeling the sinus pressure up here, I did a rinse and massaged it, worked it out, that seemed to help again. Saw the doctor at 10 a.m. and he had put more numbing agent into my nose and then proceeded to suction out any caked up mucus that was up inside my sinuses. He said that he got a, a good amount out and asked if I have felt that I was breathing better. And yes, I could report that I was breathing better. But after that, I felt an immense amount of pressure around my sinuses. It felt like my head was in a vice grip and it still feels very much that way. Uh, to the fact that about half hour ago, I, I still have Tylenol 3s, so I took one of those just because I couldn't deal with the pain any longer. The doctor said that I should be turning the corner that things will be getting better and better this week and over the next 10 days i should be in the clear or as clear as can be uh, so while i'm breathing fairly freely like i said there's just an immense amount of pressure up here around the same areas that i always have it so. day five i try to make these updates about the same time each day because if you've suffered from sinus issues like I have, maybe you can relate to this. I go through like a PTSD every single day. I wake up and I don't know exactly how I'm going to feel that day. I wait for gravity to take over. I wait for the first meal to be in my stomach to see if that sets something off. I just never know how I'm going to feel. So I want to be at about the same time each day after I've gone through all the things that I do in the morning, my regular routines, getting some food, etc. So the update for today, I'll start with last evening. I just couldn't take it anymore and I wound up using some Afrin. And while that cleared up my nasal passages even more than they already were, it did not alleviate the pressure that was in my head. I also used some Flonase or Fluticasone because that as a steroid, I was thinking should 
reduce some of the swelling that's up there, but no. There's just enormous pressure going on inside my head, and that's still happening today. The headache is probably not as severe as yesterday, but it, it's still there, and it's pretty terrible. This morning I did an Ayurvedic sinus rinse, which if you don't know about that, I highly suggest checking it out. It's in my other video on the channel. And that really gets into the back of the sinuses. I thought that perhaps would help, but nope, still the same sinus pressure. The interesting thing is that my sense of smell, I think, is a bit better. The nasal passages are, are open. Like, I can breathe, but the pressure is just ever-present, and it's, it's all that I'm thinking about. At 11 a.m., I took two Tylenol, and that didn't seem to do anything. And then at around 11.30, I put an ice pack on my head. That seemed to have helped the most. I was able to lay down for a half hour or so today. That helped a little bit. Another ice pack. And yeah, that's about the situation. I, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know if there is anything else to do. The pain is not unbearable, so I'm just going to deal with it. What the doctor said yesterday was that there's just a lot of inflammation up there and it's going to take some time for that to go away. Day six update. I'll, I'll pick up from yesterday. The severe headache lasted at least until 5.15ish, 5.30 last evening and then started to subside a little bit. I don't know exactly what helped or if anything helped or if it just ran its course. I know I had taken more Tylenol. I had taken a CBD at one point and in the past, those have given me some relief, uh, but it's like hit or miss. I, I don't know what's actually going to do it. I took a bunch of curcumin because that's supposed to help with inflammation, but it's really just a crapshoot. I never know what's going to give me any relief. But thankfully, at, at around 5.30, I was feeling better. I had dinner and felt well after that also. And straight up until the evening, until I went to bed, I was breathing fairly clear. It wasn't a major headache. If there was, it was probably like a four, four and a half out of 10. And when I woke up this morning, I was still feeling clear. So I was hopeful for today, but things quickly progressed and I was feeling congested roughly 15, 20 minutes after waking up. And by... 8.30, 9am, I was feeling the head pressure and, and everything was back. I would say it was at like a 6 this morning. When I was doing the squeeze bottles and the rinses, I could see blood coming out. And that's been a pretty common occurrence. There's been blood coming out pretty consistently every time I, I do one of those rinses. When I was shaving this morning, I was spitting in the sink. I, I tend to spit a lot when I shave because I always feel like I'm getting soap in my mouth and I don't want to swallow the soap. And I could see that there was pinkish color in my saliva. So I did some more rinses and, and more blood came out. And it, it just gets more and, and less severe as we go along. I, I would say that yeah, the, the pressure was tough. It, it ranged from like a 6 to a 7.5 throughout my morning. I took Tylenol at 10 a.m. I did some ice packs. I think that helped a little bit. It, it brought it back down to an acceptable level. Uh, this morning I had, at like 9.15ish, I had some raw yogurt and some raw milk. I get great food from an Amish farmer in Pennsylvania, so all the stuff is super clean. And then for lunch, I had some pastured eggs, I had some raw cheese, and that seemed to have helped a little bit more. It's weird, like you never know how food is going to affect you. They say that all food has a histamine or allergic effect, and that could either be a good or bad thing for me, because I eat the same stuff all the time. So sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. But that's really the update for today. The the pressure, I would say, was oscillating from 4.5 up until about a 7.5. Right now, I'm at like 6.75. And I think after this update, I'm going to squirt some Afrin in my nose because I'm sure it'll give me some level of relief. 
Tomorrow I see the doctor again. I imagine he's going to give me more suction and just get a look at what's going on in there. So I'll let you know how that goes. Day seven. After I left off yesterday, I took a CBD. I took Tylenol. I put Afrin up my nose. And yeah, the pain was really tough. I would say it was at about an 8.2. By 8 o'clock at night, I also did an entire can of Arm & Hammer, the extra strength one. And by bedtime, I would say the pain was down to around a 4. So right before bed, I also used about 8 squirts of Flonase. You're only supposed to use 2, but I haven't found any issues with using more. If anything, it gives me more relief. But I don't know if it's making a difference or not with the inflammation that was in my nose and it just couldn't hurt. So when I saw the doctor this morning, he looked in there and he told me that there was a mucus clot inside my sinus and he did some aggressive suctioning to get that out, uh, really worked it in there. So again, numbed my nose and was in there with the instruments and really gave me a good suctioning. So I'm breathing clear right now. I would say the pain is three and a half to four. It's, it's not great. N nothing's perfect yet. And I didn't anticipate it. The doctor didn't say that it would be great right away. He did tell me to continue to do the Afrin. He said, do more rinses. I was doing a ton of rinses yesterday, so it's not more rinses, but the idea is to keep everything open that he opened this morning. So I'm going to take some Afrin probably after this update and continue to just do what I can. Um, I did take some Astapro when I got home earlier because this morning I felt like there was a bunch of excess mucus. Sometimes that happens when I take the Afrin, I get like a, a runny nose or like clear liquidy mucus. And, and that's what I was seeing this morning. Uh, the doctor also remarked that he saw a lot of junk in my nose. <laughs> And finally, the doc told me to text him in the morning and let him know that I'm either the same as today or better. He just doesn't want to hear that I'm back up at that eight level of pain because uh, he thought that that was abnormal. So that's the update for today, day seven. Today is day eight, and I'm happy to report that this is probably the best day I've had. The suction that I did yesterday and the Afrin in the afternoon really kept me clear uh, right through the evening up until this morning. When I got up this morning, I would say pain level was like 2.5 to 3. And as I've been moving throughout the day, I'm feeling slightly more pressure and congestion up there. I did take some more Afrin. It's around 2 o'clock right now. And yeah, uh, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> At least it's not an excruciating headache. I texted my doctor this morning and I let him know that things were improving. I, I don't know that I'm out of the woods yet, but we shall see. So one day at a time, things hopefully are getting better. I'm hopeful that there's just ongoing irritation up there that is continually blocking me up and that should clear up, but we shall see. I mean, I don't know what else to do. If balloon sinoplasty didn't work, I guess I, I need to move to Arizona or someplace or live in a bubble. I'm not sure what's gonna help my sinuses at this point. Day nine, and I can tell I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant here because I'm like getting exhausted and I feel like some of these updates are, are repetitive because it is the same thing every single day. I'm dealing with tons of pressure. The pressure came back this morning and it's from last night till this morning, it's been anywhere from a two to four. As the day progressed, I think it went above a five for sure. I was feeling pretty uncomfortable at one point. Last night I did an Ayurvedic rinse and I highly recommend you check out the video where I go into detail on how that works. It's pulling water through your nose. It's a solution of xylitol iodine, salt, and water pulled through the nose and then spit out the mouth. And that really gets into the nooks and crannies of your sinuses, which a typical neti pot or a squeeze bottle rinse can't get into. When 
I woke up this morning and I felt the pressure getting worse. Uh, of course, I'm doing the regular squeeze bottle rinses regularly. I did a treatment of NAC and acetylcysteine and I nebulized it. I've got a whole video on how that works and that seemed to help briefly, but it didn't clear up the ongoing issue of the, the pressure that's just up in here nonstop and the pressure was getting worse and worse throughout the morning. So I moved on to Tylenol, I moved on to CBD, I moved on to more Afrin, which I'm trying to not use anymore because this is like day three-ish, four. And even though I only do one squirt, I don't want to use it for more than three days because I know that you could get rebound and that just stuffs you up more than what you were previously. After the Afrin, I did an ice pack and that I think helped the most. Uh, at least it got the, the pain down. And at this point, I would say pain is around a, a three, maybe slightly below a three. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. I feel like I have had a headache for so long that I just don't know what it's like to not have a headache. So less of a headache is like good <laughs> and I'm somewhat functional than a headache that's above a five where that's really all that I think about. I mean, I'm always thinking about the headache, but at this point I'm, I'm almost getting numb to a headache that's in the three range. If it gets to like above four, that's when I really start feeling it. So that's the update for day nine. Hopefully tomorrow's update is better and I still have a couple more days. Today is Saturday. I will see my doctor on Thursday of next week. Potentially there may be more mucus blocking me that needs to get suctioned out. What I think is happening is that there's just a lot of inflammation in my head from everybody messing around in there, uh, from the balloon sinoplasty to the doctor going in there with the suction uh, two times already. It's just too much to, to be going on inside. So my guess is that the headaches will go away eventually. They did at least from the deviated septum surgery. I had headaches for a good three, four weeks afterwards, but that didn't clear up my sinus issues. So hopefully with the second surgery, headaches will go away, sinus issues will go away, and we will be in the clear. But anyways, that's the update for day nine. Day 10 update. I'm happy to report that yesterday afternoon on day nine, I started feeling much better. I would say that the pressure and pain was below a three and stayed that way throughout the evening. So that was amazing. And I'm also happy to report that this morning, same deal. I'm below a three, maybe 2.5. There's been no major flare up. So I'm hoping that the doctor was right and I am quote unquote turning the corner as he says. Uh, so fingers crossed. I don't want to jinx myself, but day 10 and, and everything is, is as good as it can be. Like I said, I've just become accustomed to having a headache. So a headache below a three is, is actually really good for me. Day 11 update. Well, yesterday I was the most hopeful that I have been for this entire process. I was feeling good just about all day, feeling really good into the evening and woke up this morning feeling okay. Uh, not perfect. And once I ate around 1 p.m., I started feeling more and more, not congestion, but inflammation in the sinus. And it seems to be getting a little bit better now. It's almost three o'clock. I, I just took some Flonase. And what I, I think was happening yesterday is that I had been taking Flonase before bed. That's normally when I take it. And a lot of times I could take Flonase before bed and it's good for like 24 hours, maybe even longer. And same with Afrin, although it says it's 12 hours, I could take a squirt of Afrin and that lasts me a couple of days. So yeah, yesterday I had no Afrin, I had no Flonase and here we are midway through day 11 and I'm feeling a bit of that inflammation. So it's not terrible. Uh, at least the, the pounding headache is not there. It's still a headache, yeah. But it's, it's in the, the two to three range and it's not debilitating. 
Like I said, the Flonase seems to be helping a little bit, so I don't think I need Afrin. I would like to let that Flonase settle in more and, and see if that clears up the inflammation. And, and hopefully I'm back where I was in the place I was feeling yesterday, which was fairly clear. Uh, again, not without headache, but way less pressure than what I'm feeling now. And yeah, it's not like, it's not crazy congestion, but it's blocked up for sure. Day 12. Well, picking up at yesterday afternoon, things got progressively worse. And although the headache was not in like the eight range, I could tell that there was a lot of discomfort and pressure. Um, I was doing multiple rinses and that seemed to have no effect. So I eventually took some Afrin and obviously the Afrin always gives some amount of relief, but never really clears what's happening in the, my sinuses. And so I was a bit stumped and eventually around 8 PM, I took a can of Arm & Hammer, that extra strength one and sprayed the entire thing into each nostril. And as I was blowing my nose, something sort of miraculous happened. For the first time ever, a really giant booger flew out of my nose. And I think that's what was gumming up the works there. And when I say miraculous, it's because I've, I've used the Arm & Hammer before and I've used all these things before, but I've never had something that large come out. And so that was promising and that cleared everything up. I still had somewhat of a headache for the rest of the night, but I could tell that the, the passages were no longer blocked. And I think the headache was just residual. And so that was good news. Um, I, th I think that's progress for sure. The openings from the balloon sinoplasty are, are definitely wider, so it's helping. Now this morning I woke up and still feeling rather clear because of the Afrin, which has a, a pretty lasting effect. When I did the rinses this morning, nothing major seemed to change. Dull headache, not in the upwards of five range, but down around the, the two-ish three mark. And then as the day progressed, that headache started getting worse. And I was like, oh no, here we go again. So I tried some more arm and hammer, and that didn't seem to help. Nothing of major report was coming out that I could see. And so I laid down for a little bit. I took two Tylenol because I thought maybe it's just some general inflammation that's going on there. And I also took some Astapro and that combination did the trick. So the, the pressure is now down above a three which is good and I'm feeling somewhat comfortable. But the short answer is that I'm not out of the woods and I don't know that there was any sort of magic cure from the balloon sinoplasty, but the jury is still out on that. I think I'm still healing and have to give it some time. I am hopeful that I wouldn't have to use any other sinus medications after balloon sinoplasty, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe I'll be using a combination of all these treatments for some time as symptoms arise. So that's the update for today, day 12. Day 13, and I'm happy to report that I've been in fairly decent condition for the last day or so. I don't want to jinx myself, but it seems like the Astapro has been working. I've been taking two squirts of that in each nostril before bed and as well in the morning. I noticed the other day that as I started getting a little bit congested in my sinus, I took this and I would say 30 to 40 minutes later was feeling a lot better. So things are good today. I would put the pressure range at about a two because it's the lowest it's no, it's been throughout this whole experience. Tomorrow I go see the doctor and it'll officially be two weeks since the balloon sinoplasty surgery. And I'll let him know what the progress is. I think the surgery helped. Everything 
does feel more open. When, when things are very clear, I can feel the airflow a lot better. It's just that when, like I said, the sinus up here gets blocked up, that's really all I can think about. And the airflow through my nostrils and, and the sinuses down here, it's great, but if I've got pain in my head, then it's like I'm trading one thing for another. So that's it, uh, day 13, and uh, so far, thumbs up. Day 14, officially two weeks. I'll note that the general discomfort is still there. I'm keeping up with the Astapro. I've been doing rinses. I'm throwing literally everything at it. Well, not everything yet, but I will be after today. So I saw the doctor this morning and had general pressure when I woke up this morning. When he went in there with the instruments, he said that he could still see crust and he suctioned out a bunch of junk and said that the crust should be coming off, but that's what's been jamming me up still. And he also mentioned that things were coming along nicely, but in the next couple of days, uh, there should be something that gets expelled either by mouth or by blowing nose or or whatever um he did a <laughs> sort of <laughs> uh, motion so today i'm going to take some afrin after this update because i want to keep everything as clear as possible he said to continue with the sinus rinses using the squeeze bottle i'm gonna try to be as vigilant as possible with that and he also mentioned that if by monday i'm feeling worse or the similar situation where there's a buildup to come in and, and get it suctioned and that's because he's going on vacation for a couple of weeks and he doesn't want that to linger in there so today is thursday i'm going to try to stay as clear as possible through the weekend and hopefully i don't have to go back in for another visit but he said that everything was looking like it's healing well that there was just some uh, quote unquote crust which i think is like a scab so We'll see. Uh, looking forward to having something come out on a tissue or when I hock a loogie. And that's the update for day 14, two weeks. Day 15. Well, the rest of yesterday was fairly uncomfortable and I was dealing with pressure all day. After seeing the doctor and having him wrench around in there with his suction materials, like I said, I was gonna throw everything at it. I started with the Afrin after the update that really didn't give me much relief. I used more Astapro, that didn't give me much relief. Later on in the day, I used a whole can of Arm & Hammer and that helped. It got some of this more chunky, brownish type mucus out. I can't really tell if it's bloody or brown and I don't know why it would be brown. Maybe it's part of the scab that's coming out but it's coming out with like aggressive nose blowing after the arm and hammer and by the end of the day like 10 o'clock i was starting to feel some relief i had taken more astapro later in the day just because i i couldn't like loosen it up at all again doing all the rinses lots of rinses and this morning when I woke up, I was feeling okay. So before bed, I took some Flonase because that should bring down a little bit of the inflammation. And when I woke up in the middle of the night, I, I used some more Flonase because I like to let it sit in there. And then this morning after some supplements and meditation, I was blowing my nose and aggressively more brown stuff came out. And then after the first rinse, I did not see any more brown stuff. So today I'm feeling all right. Uh, you know, like a two, two-ish for the pressure level, which is, is good. And I think that's a result of the Afrin and the Flonase and then just getting rid of some of that brown stuff. But blowing the nose this morning, that aggressive blowing, I can feel something sort of moving around up in here. And I believe that that's the scab or crust that the doctor had talked about. So that's the update. I can't believe I'm still doing this 15 days later, but it is what it is. So I want to let everybody know 
what this recovery is looking like for me and, and what it might look like for you. Day 16. Well, the update building off of yesterday, late in the afternoon, I used an entire can of Arm & Hammer and after some aggressive blowing, something major came out of my nose. It was almost black looking, but I have to assume that that's just dried up blood and it relieved a bunch of the pressure that I was feeling. I don't know if this is the piece that I've been looking for, the scab or crust as my doctor calls it, but it certainly gave me some relief. And after that, I took more Afrin to make sure that I can keep everything clear. And I was good for the rest of the evening. And this morning I woke up still feeling pretty good. There was a little bit of pressure building up and so I did my rinse today. I tried more of the arm and hammer, but I couldn't get that major anything else to come out. And I thought about taking a picture of it, but that's probably too gross to show on video. Just take my word for it. It was a big bloody snot clot. That's the best way to describe it. A black snot clot. So uh, I'm looking for more of that stuff to come out. I don't know if it will. Maybe I've turned the corner, maybe I haven't. I did feel some pressure today. So like I said, I did some more arm and hammer washes. That didn't help. Oh, I mean, it did, but nothing major came out. And so I used a little bit more Astapro right before this video. That seemed to relieve some pressure. I also got some Bob's Red Mill baking soda, which I was by chance reading an article the other day on X and some people said that they got relief by taking a teaspoon of that and mixing it with water. It clears up their nasal congestion. So I did some of that. I don't know whether that helped or not, but I think the Astapro and the Arm & Hammer and the effects of Afrin from yesterday are, are still lingering. I don't want to take any more Afrin today, but I will see how it goes tomorrow. I may need some. And yeah, that's the update for today. We'll see if anything more major comes out. Tomorrow's gonna be Sunday. And my doctor gave me an appointment for Monday just in case things don't clear up. So that's where we're at for today. Today's day 18 and I skipped the update yesterday because I was out all day, didn't have time to make a video. But the update for yesterday is that I took another round of Afrin. I've been taking Afrin every day since Thursday when I saw the doctor and I've been saying on these updates, I'm not going to take Afrin. Well, after three days, I, I can't take it anymore. So, uh, because you will get rebound and more mucus than what you started with. And the Afrin wasn't helping the, the pressure that was up inside my head. So I saw the doctor today on day 18, it's Monday. And he went in there with his instruments. He said, oh, I see stuff right away. He asked me if it was both sides. I said, yes, uh, this side obviously more clogged. This side, he took some stuff out. When he got to this side though, he was really working to the point where I joked with him and said, I think I broke your machine because <laughs> yeah, it stopped, the suctioning stopped working at some point and he like changed out the, the top part and kept it going. Um, but yeah, he said th that a lot of stuff came out. I could feel it come out. I'm breathing well right now. My head still hurts because of him being up there and having that pressure all day long. It just doesn't go away quickly. So hopefully by tomorrow it'll feel good. My face is still numb because they put gauze pads up your nose uh, soaked in uh, some sort of anesthetic. It feels like you've been to the dentist. So like my teeth are kind of numb and the inside of my nose is numb in order for him to get the suction all the way down into the sinus. Uh, but yeah, a lot of stuff came out. He said that my healing is about a week longer than what he had thought. And he mentioned that if I'm still feeling uncomfortable, I can make an appointment within the next two weeks with his colleague. Uh, my doctor is going on vacation, so hopefully I won't need that. I'm going to continue with the saline rinses. That's what he suggested. He said no more Afrin if I get super uncomfortable to use Sudafed, but lots of saline rinses. So that's the plan. That's what I'm going to do. 
and hopefully I can report back on the next update that things are getting clearer. He said I should be feeling good, like he would be concerned if he did all this and I said I, I still felt bad um, and he thinks that everything looks like I should be feeling good soon. So that is the update for day 18. Day 19 update, I'm feeling as hopeful as I have been in this entire process. Last night, I remarked to myself that as I was having brief wake-ups, that I wasn't feeling as congested on my right side. Uh, normally, I avoid sleeping on my right side altogether because that would just get me very stuffed up in the sinus and it would eventually wake me up. It was so bad. So when I did wake up during the night last night, I could feel some minor congestion, but nothing nearly as bad as what it had used to be. I think yesterday's suction really helped and today I have been relatively clear all day long up until about two hours ago, I would say. After eating some eggs at noon, I, I got a little bit more congested so I started doing the arm and hammer washes and just couldn't seem to shake uh, the, the general blockage there. I got some stuff out, nothing very major, you know, some minor brown looking things. And then after I got a, a decent clearing, I used some Astapro roughly 40 minutes ago. And that's given me the relief I'm looking for. I still feel a little bit of blockage, a little bit of pressure, but I would say we're, we're down near a two, which is good. That's definitely improvement. I feel improvement and I am hopeful. So that is the update for day 19. Here we are day 20 and I was hoping that I was really in the clear, but yesterday there was just increasing pressure throughout the day and there was nothing I could do to shake it. I went through several cans of Arm & Hammer and I just couldn't dislodge whatever was in there. So the recommendation from the doctor was to try Sudafed and I ended up taking that later in the evening, probably around 9.30 and went to bed soon after. I used a lot of Flonase before bed and then Flonase in the middle of the night. The Sudafed helped. I could feel it uh, freeing up some space. And so I woke up today feeling okay. I would put it around the two most of the day. After eating lunch, the pressure came back and had been building. So it's about 2.30 now. I took another Sudafed at 1.30 and that helped. I could feel the pressure easing up a little bit. I've been doing arm and hammer. I've been doing the regular saline squeeze bottles, but nothing seems to be getting out what, whatever's in there. Like I know that I, f I feel like I can just blow something hard, 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 and it'll come flying out, but I'm, I'm just waiting for that. So that's where we are. The Sudafed has helped. Um, the pressure is there. It, it feels like it's just never going to go away. So here we are, day 20, kind of the same as yesterday. I feel like I'm in an endless loop of nasal pressure, but what else is new? Day 21, I am beside myself. Uh, yesterday, I took Sudafed, like I mentioned, and I was fairly clear for the rest of the day. And I didn't have to do any aggressive arm and hammer. I didn't do any other machinations of what I needed to do to like just free up some pressure. And so I'm hopeful, fingers crossed. Uh, it's earlier in the day today because I'm gonna be gone all day, but I'm still feeling good. I slept well, no congestion through, through the night, no Astapro, no Flonase. I wanted to like remove everything to see if this in fact is true. So I'm gonna be on the go all day, but I'm bringing some Sudafed with me just in case. But day 21, I, I feel like we might have turned the corner, so to speak. Okay, so day 22 update. Was on the go all day yesterday and felt relatively good. I got home and did two washes in the evening. And then before bed, I did some Flonase because there was a little bit of pressure. I thought that might ease it up. And when I woke up this morning, there was a, a bit more pressure 
So I did the rinse, I did a can of Arm & Hammer and had a bit of a breakthrough. So two really substantial things came out. Uh, not right away, first one came out, then another came out. Then about 40 minutes later, a third one came out and I really felt an opening. But oddly enough, after that, I developed a bit of a headache and some pressure internally. So the good news is that stuff is moving. The bad news is that there's, there's still some pressure and, and other things going on. I did take a Sudafed at 1.30 today. It's about three o'clock now and it worked. I'm, I'm feeling better. Uh, and fairly clear so no major headache uh, just a little bit of pressure going on inside the head but I, I guess that's like to be expected at this point so that's the update day 22 it's day 23 and I'm wondering when I can actually stop making these updates and say that I, I'm done and <laughs> feeling good or I'm done and it didn't work but hopefully feeling good so the update is yesterday I took Two Sudafed, I mentioned I was gonna take a Sudafed. I took another one in the evening because I felt some pressure coming on and that kept me good through the night. And this morning felt okay. I, I did do Flonase before bed because I thought perhaps that's what was able to help me jar that good discharge that I had. And so I did more Arm & Hammer rinse this morning but there was no major discharge. There hasn't been any major discharge yet. I just did another rinse it's about four o'clock now and i'm feeling okay uh, after the rinses i feel certainly more clear but if any pressure comes back on i'm gonna take a sudafed and yeah rinse and repeat pun intended so yeah just rinsing now and uh, sudafed as needed don't know if the flonase is helping but i will do that again before bed tonight and that's the update for today. Uh, the good news is that there's no major headache, no major pressure going on, and, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, so we shall see if, if anything more major comes out of my nose. So this is the update for day 24, 25, and 26. I didn't make an update on Sunday and Monday because I was on the go. And to be honest with you, things were pretty good, so I didn't think that there was anything major to report. And, and maybe that is the report. I've been using Arm & Hammer, the strongest one that they have, and Sudafed. And I would say that each day I've taken one to two Sudafed. I'm also using Flonase before bed every night, sometimes Flonase in the afternoon. But I believe it's really the Sudafed and mostly the Arm & Hammer. Yeah, Arm & Hammer and Sudafed. So if the Arm & Hammer does not clear up any congestion that I'm feeling, the Sudafed will quickly. And I think that's a, a really good development. There hasn't been any major discharge coming out of my nose. Maybe on Monday or Sunday, there was probably like one chunky booger, but nothing of the sorts that came out when I had that eureka moment. So that's the update for day 26. Today's day 28, and I'm gonna give you an update for days 27 and 28. These updates are becoming less frequent, which is a good thing because not much has changed. Although I will say for day 27 yesterday, I was feeling extra stuffiness that I could not shake for most of the day. Even after the normal routine of Arm & Hammer and Sudafed, it didn't seem to clear it up. I was tempted to take some Afrin, but I did not because it wasn't unbearable and there was no like pain, just a little bit of pressure and stuffiness, which was not the norm for the previous days. So day 28, I woke up this morning feeling pretty good. I did a bunch, I did a, a Sudafed at 1.30 yesterday and then another one around five o'clock yesterday, a full can of Arm & Hammer. I did some Flonase throughout the day because I thought that might help, and none of it really gave me that relief I was looking for. Although, normally when I do Flonase before bed, I wake up feeling clear because it's got time to sit in there, and so I feel great all day today, and it's uh, after four o'clock, 
I have not done any Arm & Hammer, I have not done any Sudafed, breathing fairly free and clear. Although, I am curious what using some Afrin might feel like, because I haven't felt like that super clean feeling that I had like after the suction was done or when I've used the Afrin. You know, like you can feel the air hitting the back of your throat because your nose is just so clear and your sinuses are so clear. So I haven't felt that. And I'm like I said, I'm tempted to use the Afrin, but I don't have the need for it right now. So I'm gonna save that one in my back pocket for when I really need it. But that's the update for day 28, feeling good. And this is, you know, the story of my life. Hit or miss, some days are good, some days are not good. I'm hoping that at some point, every day becomes good and that feeling not good becomes the abnormal day rather than what's expected. So that's it, day 28. This final update is gonna be for days 29 and 30. And I will report that yesterday, day 29, I was feeling some stuffiness, did all the normal stuff, Sudafed, Arm & Hammer, rinses, and none of that was alleviating the discomfort. So I took some Afrin later in the evening and that cleared me up. And then today, day 30, I'm feeling good. The Afrin is very powerful and I knew that that would work for me. There has not been this aha moment though of like super clear breathing where I can feel the cool air on the back of my sinus and, and my throat. And maybe that will come and go depending on how clear I'm feeling. It seems like the only time that I really have that is after my visits with the doctor and they've done suction to get literally everything out of there and then I can keep it clean for like a day. So maybe that's not gonna be long lasting. In closing, I feel like this surgery was a success. So the number one thing is that the super congested pressure up here has basically gone. I mean, it comes back, but it's nowhere near as intense as what it used to be. When I do feel that pressure it seems like there's enough space in there to get stuff out although it wasn't coming out yesterday my guess is that as time goes on this will all get better and better we're 30 days in so i would imagine in another 30 days things would be twice as good if that's even possible and perhaps i just need to make another update do i think that this was a success yes 100 percent I'm glad that I've gone through the deviated septum surgery. I'm glad that I've gone through the balloon sinoplasty, but more so the, the balloon sinoplasty. If you can avoid the deviated septum surgery and maybe just get balloon sinoplasty, then that sounds great too. But the way it was explained to me is that my septum was so much in the way that getting the instruments in there would have been problematic. And, and I feel like the recovery would have been problematic also. The other thing that I'm wondering is, I started this whole process in January with the deviated septum surgery, and it's now March 30th. And for the past two years, these severe symptoms have been somewhat seasonal. So I don't know if because it's springtime now, these severe symptoms have cleared up, but all I know is that I've had sinus trouble my entire life. It gets better, it gets worse. In the winter months, it's been absolutely horrible. I haven't felt that way in the last 10 days, I would say around day 22, when I had the eureka moment of stuff coming out that I showed everybody, then that was the real game changer. So things have been good. I'm not gonna make any more updates on this video, but I may put some out in the future if there's something that's noteworthy to report. So if you're contemplating having balloon sinoplasty surgery, or if you've got advice for anybody else, please leave a comment below. Uh, please share this video if you found that it helped you in your decision on whether this is the right procedure for you. And let me know if you've gone through with the procedure or if you're about to go through the procedure. I appreciate everybody. Thank you, and I will see you soon.